Good morning, students. It is Thursday, September 10th, and today in our video, we are going to go over uh, a little bit of our syllabus, and I know your other teachers are going to be talking about specific parts of the syllabus, so we're going to briefly go over it, and then we are going to focus our time in language arts with Ms. Doyle on academic integrity. Your warm-up ticket for today, or your warm-up um, question was about what you think academic integrity might mean and I gave you the definition of integrity and we're going to talk about that a little bit and then there is another video for you to watch and answer some questions about that so um, your exit ticket will be after you've watched these videos and thought about what Miss Doyle said and what this other video said what you can do in as you as a student in middle school how you can show your own academic integrity so I'm going to share my screen and we are going to get started. Okay, share. And here we are. Here's our sixth grade syllabus. All right. So this syllabus applies. It's the same one for social studies, language arts, science, and math. So your core subject, which is that's the four of us. At the top of this page, you can see our first and last names as well as our emails. And so if you ever have any questions that you want to talk to or send us, that is where you would find that information. Um, grading is going to be just like in all of our middle school classes, this is kind of how we organize our grading. It is 60% of your grade is based on your assessments and that'll be your weekly assessments. And as um, it says here, weekly assessments should never take you more than 20 minutes to complete. If you're taking more than 20 minutes, you're doing something wrong. Meaning, this is something where you're just supposed to know based on what we talked about over the course of the week, and it should come pretty quick. 20 minutes is your absolute maximum. It shouldn't take you that long. It should take you a lot less, actually. Um, these are going, and we're going to talk about when those assessments are due, but if those are all completed in a timely fashion by all students, that means that our infinite campus portal, which is where you're actually going to see your grades, those will be able to be updated every single week. The other 40% of your um, grade is based on classwork. So that's doing your warm ups and doing your homework or exit tickets. Um, our general outline is that if you are in cohort A, you are in class, meaning with us in the building Mondays and Wednesdays and you all have online classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Your cohort B, it's the opposite. You are online to uh, Monday and Wednesday and face-to-face -face Tuesday and Thursday. If you're in the distance learning cohort, then you are just online Monday through Thursday. But no matter which cohort you're in, you have an assessment on Friday, or it's actually assigned on Thursday, and it'll be due Friday by noon, 12 p.m. Um, your other teachers are going to talk a little bit more about grading and the outline and late work. I'm going to talk a little bit about integrity, academic integrity. And I'm going to read this whole thing so that you hear it and you see it. And this is a really important piece and I'm really glad that I'm the one who gets to talk to you about it. So um, this is in regards to, well, your daily work, but most notably your weekly assessments. And so I'm going to be reading along right here now. Weekly assessments are to be informative to the teacher of ongoing student progress. And being told what Google knows does not accomplish this task for us. We don't want you to just get a good grade. We want to know what you know. Academic integrity also applies to classmates as well. Receiving answers from other students does not only provide a false sense of what a student knows, it's also a serious breach of trust between the teacher and the student. We can't educate you, we can't teach you if we don't really know what you know. So that means that if we find out that there are academic dishonesty committed by a student, anyone involved is gonna receive a zero and we're gonna to have to talk to your parents or guardians about it because we take this very, very seriously. I don't just want you to get the right answers. I wanna know what you're learning and what you know. And if you don't know something, that means maybe I didn't do a good enough job of explaining it or teaching it to you. And if every kid gets the right answer based on false information, then I think I'm doing a great job, but you might not actually be learning anything. 
So it's very, 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 very important, one, to be honest with your teachers, but two, your, ac your education is super important and we wanna make sure that you are really learning and we can only do that. We use those assessments, we use those weekly assessments to not just see how you're doing, but how we're doing as teachers. So we feel very, very strongly about this and we really wanna make sure that you are using integrity and being honest about the work that you are turning in to your teachers, okay? Um, you're gonna watch a video after this um, about academic integrity in general, but I just wanted to tell you from a personal end, I feel that we feel very, very strongly, but we really wanna know what you're learning, not what Google is learning or what your classmates are learning, okay? We wanna know about you as a person. And the only way I can do my job well and continue to get better at my job is if I know what I'm teaching you, okay? So um, Mr. Lamprecht and Mr. Fogg are gonna continue to talk a little bit more about the rest of the syllabus here, um, but I will briefly talk about this. Uh, each class, and this first week, if you were face-to-face -face with Ms. Doyle and well, Mr. Fogg and Mr. Lamprecht as well, um, our classes weren't set up perfectly like this, 10 minutes, five, five, you know, 15, because it was our first few days and we're just kind of getting the routine down. But in general, this is how our classes are gonna be set up. And that'll look, we're gonna look at this a little bit more closely next week. Um, but this first 10 minutes is when your teacher is getting to the class and that's your time for you to get yourself organized. Make sure you've got sharpened pencils. Make sure you have your materials for that class out and ready. Time for you to stretch, time for you to get a little movement in. Um, and so that everybody is ready to go once we're 10 minutes in a class to really start and get straight to work, okay? Um, and these minutes might be slightly flexible. Maybe our warm up is a little short that day so we can move into our lesson intro. Or maybe that, that warm up's gonna take a little bit longer because we have good, you know, really good questions on it. But this is gonna be our rough outline every day. We're gonna have a warm up. We're gonna have a lesson introduction or a lesson explanation, and we might watch you know, a Miss Doyle video that day. Then we are gonna do some practice work, and then we have an exit ticket like every single day, okay? So um, we are gonna use this format for all of our classes, and if you're at home as a distance learner, you should be kind of thinking about your chunking your class time like this as well, okay? Uh, so yeah, that's all I have for you today and you're gonna watch another video, and then you're gonna answer your exit ticket, and that exit ticket is personal to you, which means you shouldn't be looking on Google for this answer, you shouldn't be asking your classmates for this answer, because it's personal, it's how do you, you as a student, how are you gonna show your academic integrity so that we can have the best year ever, okay? Um, so thanks for listening, I'm so glad to hear that students are watching the videos, that's like one of the most important parts of middle school, especially this year, is making sure you're really watching the videos because otherwise you're not gonna know what's going on. And that's another th part of being um, honest and having integrity is doing what's expected of you, which is to watch the video because that's where we're gonna give you the most information. All right, I hope you have a great rest of your day and you're able to get your homework done quick and uh, watch the next video. And then we have an exit ticket, like always, and that's it, all right. Uh, you will have a weekly assessment that is also available today, and that'll be due when? Friday at noon, all right? So you can do it Thursday night because you'll have all the information, but you also have until Friday at noon to complete it. All right, see you guys later. Have a great rest of your Thursday.